Hey everyone, welcome to class. Today is all about strengthening the upper body. So we'll be doing some familiar things, a few less familiar things, uh, but really all geared towards strengthening the upper half. So from the shoulders to the back, improving posture, getting some of that definition that we all want through the biceps and shoulders. Uh, this class is all about that. And we'll, of course, we'll balance it out with a little bit of um, kind of a, a restorative-ish cool down towards the end, the last few minutes. So go ahead and begin in child's pose. We're just gonna take a couple grounding breaths there. So drop the hips back toward the heels, walk the hands forward and let the forehead come down. And just keep the elbows lifted away from the mat as you breathe. So letting the eyes close. Taking a few breaths. Reminding yourself to approach each class, each time you get on your mat, approaching that time with minimal expectations. Allowing yourself to be fully present with each pose, with each shape. Allowing whatever it is to be. On your next breath, look up to the hands and slide the wrists under the shoulders, the knees under the hips, and we'll take a few rounds of cat-cow, moving at your own pace, flowing with your breath. Keeping your attention on the upper body, so around the shoulders, the spine, the upper back, just feeling your mobility increase with each round. Take one more each way. And then bring it back to neutral. So nice long spine. You can keep the toes tucked under or the feet flat on the floor, however it feels comfortable. Look straight down between the thumbs and we're gonna do some scapular push-ups. So what this means is we're kind of isolating the shoulder blades and moving them alone. So I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep the elbows locked and kind of let the chest drop down a couple inches. Now press the floor away, move the shoulder blades away from the midline. Drop the chest, shoulder blades move together, and then press the floor away, create space between the shoulder blades. Down, shoulder blades squeeze together, up, they move apart. So we're gonna do a few more rounds like this. The back stays pretty neutral, so you're not arching as you lower down, and you're not over rounding as you come up. You should feel the shoulder blades themselves moving. Let's do two more. One. Two. And from here, you're gonna find plank. And we're gonna make this just a little bit more challenging. So extend the legs back, find your plank, and we're gonna do those scapular push-ups again, this time from plank. So kind of press the floor away, and then drop the chest down a couple inches, and press down, up. We're gonna do eight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your knees down. Make sure the hips line up over the knees. Walk the hands forward and we're gonna find puppy pose. So drop the chest down, the head down. You can take the chin down if you prefer or just keep the forehead on your mat. and then take it up. We're gonna find dolphin pose. So we're gonna hold dolphin just for a few breaths. So we've got a couple options in this case. You can keep the, the hands interlaced with the elbows under the shoulders and then lift the hips up. If you can, you can also keep the palms facing down. So regardless, um, as we hold here, take whichever variation feels best. But eventually we're gonna make our way to hands flat. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Scoop the hips up towards the sky and press the floor away. 
So again, you're keeping the head away from the mat and kind of moving those shoulder blades down and around the ribs. And breathe. If your hands are not flat on the ground, go ahead and take them flat. We're gonna challenge ourselves just a little bit. We're gonna move from dolphin to chaturanga. So look to the elbows, bend the knees enough so that you can press off the forearms up to the hands and then lower straight down. Lay the chest flat, roll the shoulders back, find cobra. Upper body comes down, sit up and back, downward facing. Lift the hips high. So in your down dog, pedal out the feet just a little bit. Take a couple breaths here. And then again, come back to dolphin. So if you wanna go uh, straight to palms flat, you can, or you can interlace the hands for a couple breaths just to kind of warm up the shoulders a bit more. Give it a couple breaths. We're gonna do that same thing again. So palms flat if they're not already there, bend the knees, press up to plank and lower down between the elbows. <laughs> Lay the chest flat. Shoulders roll back, cobra. Exhale, lower. Sit up and back, downward facing. Take one or two breaths in down dog. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna do one more round of that dolphin. So, palm, um, yeah, palms down, forearms down. Breathe, really press the mat away. So try to keep the wrists shoulder width apart as well. That'll give you space to kind of flow through to your chaturanga. So we're gonna try to smooth this out even more. Try to go in one motion, bend the knees, Press up plank and move straight down. Lay the chest flat, shoulders roll back, cobra. And lay it down, downward facing. From your down dog, look to the hands, step the feet behind the wrists, forward fold, relax the head, the neck and the shoulders. And then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold and step the left leg really far back. Drop the left knee. Inhale, reach the arms up for one breath in. And then exhale, interlace the hands behind you. Roll the shoulders back. Take a little back bend. Exhale, come back to neutral. Step back, downward facing. Shift your weight forward, take the knees down, lower all the way down between the elbows. We're gonna do three cobra push-ups. So hands at the sides or just in front of the chest. Shoulders roll back, press up gently for one. Lower down. Shoulders roll back, press up two. Lower down. Last one, shoulders up, lift the chest. And lower down. Tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing. Step the left foot between the hands, drop the right knee down. Inhale, arms lift, big breath in. Exhale, interlace the hands, roll the shoulders back. Taking a little back bend here. And take it back to neutral. Step back, downward facing. Shift your weight forward, knees come down, lower all the way down to your mat. Three cobra push-ups, nice and slow. Inhale, lift the chest for one. Exhale, lower. Before you go up, pay attention for one second. Press the tops of the feet into the mat, and instead of leaning into the lower back, think of moving the sternum, just the chest, up towards the sky, and then lightly press into the fingertips. So make this a chest opener, not just pushing into a back bend. Exhale, lower. One more time. Shoulders roll back, press up. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing. From your down dog, drop down, cobra. <laughs> or not cobra, I'm sorry, dolphin. 
So this is familiar, just like we did at the start. We're gonna take a couple breaths here in dolphin. See if you can find a little bit more comfort, a little bit more ease, maybe not comfort. Comfort's pushing it in dolphin, but <laughs> a little bit more ease we can probably find. Take one more round of breath. And then look to the hands. Nice and smooth, press all the way up, lower down. Lay the chest flat and take the tops of the hands down to the floor, forehead down to the floor. Interlace the hands behind you, roll the shoulders back, reach the fingers toward the heels, and inhale, lift the feet, lift the chest. Breathe in. Three. Two. And one. Take it down. Take the hands down, roll the shoulders back, Press up Cobra. Exhale, lower. Two more times. Take your time. Shoulders back, elbows in. Press up lightly. Last one. Shoulders back. Press up. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes. Sit up and back. Downward facing. Take a couple breaths here. Exhale, take it down for dolphin. How much different does it feel now versus the beginning? Can you find a little bit more strength, a little bit more control? Look to the hands, bend the knees, launch forward, lower down. Forehead can come down to the mat to rest, bend the knees. Catch the feet, so you're reaching to the outsides of the feet around the ankles. On your next breath in, roll the shoulders back and lift off for bow. Lift the feet up towards the sky, shoulders roll back and down, away from the ears. Exhale, take it down. Hands at the sides. Three cobra push-ups. Inhale, press up nice and gently. Exhale. Inhale, shoulders back, lift up. Exhale, lower. One more time, shoulders back, inhale. Exhale. Plant the hands, tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing. Stretch the right leg straight up. And then step it through, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, goal post the arms, so thumbs are gonna face back. Open the chest forward, look up if you can, taking a little back bend. And then come back to neutral, float the arms behind you, reach the upper body forward. Inhale fully. Exhale, take the hands down, pay attention. I want you to step the right foot back, cross it over the left, and take one chaturanga push-up. Back up, uncross the legs, cross the left foot over the right, chaturanga push-up. Come back to neutral, lower down halfway. Take it all the way down, shoulders roll back. One cobra, lay it down. Tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing. Stretch the left leg up. Step it through, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms lift. Take a second, find your balance. <laughs> Bend the elbows, goal post the arms, thumbs face back. Pull the sternum forward and up. So you're kind of tipping the chest back. Let the eyes go with you. Inhale fully. Exhale, back to neutral, float the arms back, reach the chest forward. Inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Sweep the left leg back, cross left over right, push up. Cross right over left, push up. Come back to neutral, high plank, shift forward, lower down. Lay the chest flat. Shoulders roll back, one cobra. Exhale, lower, pay attention. Forehead down, hands reach down behind you. Interlace the fingers behind you. Roll the shoulders back, reach the fingers toward the heels. Let the arms, or let the upper body float up, let the legs float up. Exhale, lower down. 
Cobra one time, shoulders roll back, lift the chest, lower body stays heavy, exhale lower. Forehead down, bend the knees, catch the feet from the outside, knees are, are um, hip width apart, shoulders roll back, on your inhale, lift off. Take three full breaths in and out. Exhale, release. Take the hands under the shoulders. Shift your weight back for child's pose. Sit the hips down. Walk the upper body forward. Come up to tabletop. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, thread it underneath the left. Come down to the shoulder for thread the needle. So you can keep the left hand down or walk it straight up overhead. Whatever feels best. You can also take that left hand behind you and hook it to the inside of the right thigh. Two more breaths. Unwrap, plant the left hand down, press up, reach the right arm up overhead, exhale, take it down, and we'll switch sides. Inhale, left arm lifts, exhale, thread underneath the right, come all the way down for thread the needle. The right arm can reach overhead, or you can take it behind you and hook to the inside of the left thigh. Two more breaths. Slide the right hand in. Come back to the center. Sweep the left arm up. Take it down. And sit back on the heels. You can face any direction. I'm just going to turn this way so you can see me easier. I want you to wrap the right arm over the left. So almost like you're going to grab onto the left um, shoulder blade. Take the left arm over to the right and do the same thing. So your elbows are crossed one on top of another, almost like cow face pose, but in the arms. <laughs> and then round through the upper back and then try to kind of pull the shoulder blades away from each other. You're not actually pulling them away from each other, but you're trying to hook onto them and get that feeling. So round through the upper back, drop the chin. Maybe give a little shimmy. Inhale, sit up, switch sides, cross left over right, grab those shoulder blades or reach all the way around until you could just about get them. And then again, you're gonna round the upper back, relax the head, relax the neck. A little shimmy. And bring it back up to neutral. Big circles with the arms. Three times, two, three, and go the opposite direction. One, two, three. Find a comfortable seat, sitting evenly on the hips, relaxing the shoulders, and let the eyes close. Let's take a moment to notice how the upper body feels now. Sufficiently worked, probably. <laughs> and notice, kind of put this newfound strength into practice by sitting up a little bit taller, 
being more aware of where the shoulders are. Are they hiked up towards the ears? Do they feel uneven? Can you consciously kind of draw them down just a little bit? Take a couple more breaths. Gently bring the hands up to the heart center. Let the eyes blink open. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Hope you loved it. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you right back here next time. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Let me know how this one felt in the comments below. As usual, if you enjoyed this, be sure to head over to Bad Yogi Studio where you can find the full 30 day version of this challenge inside. There's over 350 classes inside Bad Yogi Studio from ones that'll make you sweat to ones that'll just ground and relax you and literally everything in between. So be sure to check it out. Anyway, that's all for today. Be sure to join me right back here for tomorrow's class and I'll see you then.